Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. Happy Monday to you. Jacob's vow. All right, the vow that I took. Also a vow that is found in Genesis chapter 28. You see, there's a story in scripture of one of the patriarchs. It's the story of a man who has this great, great faith and uh, doesn't quite know how to operate it. So today, I wake up again. Once again, my jaw is uh, starting to get infected again, which I don't quite understand. So I'm asking God, you know, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? You know that I gave my life to you, Lord. You know that I just want to do the right thing. And yet, here I find myself stumbling onto Jacob's vow, reminded of a vow that the patriarch once took in Genesis chapter 28, when he was on the run from his brother and he was going to go work for Laban. Reminded me of a time in my life when I had basically left everything secular TV because I said, you know, I'm going to go work for you, Lord. And I gave it all up and I went and I worked for uh, Daystar Television Network. It didn't take me very long to realize that I had gotten tricked into marrying the ugly firstborn daughter of Laban, if you will. The idea of Christian TV, the idea of being able to come on here and share my faith and my passion and to do the will of God. And I realized that I was smack dab in the middle of Babylon. And I was working for people that really, maybe just didn't really know the Lord the way I did. They had a lot of idols, like Laban did to sheep shear. You see, right before he goes to work for Laban, right when he starts, he's on, on the run. He, uh, he takes a little nap, takes a little nap, and he has a dream. You know, pretty much like the dreams that I have. I have quite a few dreams. And in that dream, he saw that there was a ladder set into the earth. Okay? So the ladder set into the earth, meaning that the ladder starts in the earth, in the natural realm, in this world, if you will. But he saw this ladder went up to heaven. And in the dream, he actually saw that God was um, atop the ladder and that the angels of God were ascending and descending upon him. And when he woke up, when he woke up, which is symbolic of, you know, you kind of shake off the sleep of religion and uh, the lies of your life. You wake up and you realize, wow, this is the place of God. This is God. This is where God is. That was actually um, something that was revealed to him within him, in his dream. And he called that place Bethel, which is interesting because years before um, I even knew the story and I knew the intricacies of the story, I wrote the first chapter of my novel, The Calling, and I put the, uh, the lead character, his home was Bethel. And I didn't make the connection until quite, quite a bit later. Bethel, which means the house of God. In the New Testament, we find out that we are the house of God. Okay, so, so when Jacob wakes up and he understands that God is you know, real, and that this life that he has is one that should be lived for this God. What Jacob does is he makes a vow. And it's, it's kind of a, a, a cool vow and something that I had done in my past. I, mean, I didn't even realize it until, you know, being reminded of it today. He basically says, look, you know, as long as you give me food and you, you keep clothes on my back, you keep a roof over my head, as long as you, you keep me protected and taken care of, sounds a bit selfish, Lord, but I'll serve you all the days of my life. He says this after he hears what God promised him in that dream. And behold, the Lord stood above this ladder, above Jacob's ladder, above the thing that he saw in his dream where he realized that the place of God was within him in his dream, in his vision, it was revealed to him. God said this, and I want you all to listen to this, especially if you're going through a hard time right now, especially if you're questioning things, especially if you're doubting things, especially if you took Jacob's vow. Take the vow, right? I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and God of Isaac. The land where you lie, 
This will I give to you and to your seed, and your seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. In the name of you and your seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed because of you, Jacob, because you gave your life to me. Everyone will be blessed through you, by you, for you. And behold, Jacob, I am with you. And I will keep you in all places where you go. And I will bring you again into this land. For I will not leave you until I have done that which I have spoken. Okay, so why this is important to me is because, you know, just today I wake up and I wonder. You know, I've seen this. I've seen the day that we're in. I've seen it. I, I, I pictured it. I pictured the day when the channel would start to take off. I pictured the day when I could get all of you to just say, teach me the truth no matter what the cost, when you could go to God, when I could be like an example for you so that you can come out of her, come out of Babylon, come out of the lies, come out of the suffering, come out of the pain, take the vow. Realize that where you are, the place where you lie, there's a ladder planted smack dab at the middle of your feet. And all you got to do is look up and listen and start climbing. When you understand that God is on your side, when you understand with, if God be for you, nothing can be against you, that day you will no longer fear. That day you will have strength in the face of adversity. That day you will smile when you are persecuted because you know. It's all working together for the good because God promised you if you take that vow, because, not because you take the vow, because that's something that, you know, something that Jacob did, something I did when I was laying down. I said, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I give you my life. Just take care of my family. I give you my life. I come on here because I sincerely have faith and more. I come on here because I sincerely believe that the days that we are in is a day when people are going to wake up like never before. That's why all the kooky little shows that I do and all the little things that I do, they all will lead you eventually to understand one thing. You're more than you know, so you better be buckled up. I hope you take the vow! And I love each and every one of you. Please do share it around, subscribe, and everything else. I just wanted to encourage some of you. And I wanted to remind you that I too, even though I have all these wonderful, miraculous things happening in my day-to-day -day life, I too question sometimes, Lord. <sighs> Will you give me enough food to eat? Will you keep the clothes on my back? Will you return me to my Father's house? Because ultimately, that's where we all need to be. Seek first the kingdom righteousness, peace, and joy, and everything else is added on to you. And I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.